Hello and welcome to a quick Unreal tutorial on how you would implement an invisible wall for your character in a level. Um, so just a quick demonstration, as you can see there's this big cube that I've put in front of a haunted house and currently I can just jump over the wall and the objects that I'm firing can also go over the wall. Um, so if we wanted to stop players getting into that area, um, then all we would need to do is we need to place an actor and if you search for a blocking volume and you drag that into world, uh, it's there. If I just move that in line with my fence, um, obviously for the purpose of this, I could just walk around the side, um, but I'm just going to quickly add it on top of the wall and then obviously if I were add to, to add more fences and stuff I would just add this on top of there. So I'll save that, rerun it and if you can see the balls start stop going over and I can no longer jump over. Like that. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm kind of stuck on the lip here a little bit so I might, I might need to just bring that forward a little bit. It's always better to have a little bit of overlap rather than have the characters able to stand on top um, but yeah that's how you would add a simple invisible wall but what if I only wanted this to apply to the player so for instance if these balls that are firing in the air uh, if they were bullets or something I would still probably want those to fire over the wall I just want to stop my character from getting over the wall so how do I do that well it's quite simple really so if you go to the details section while you've got your blocking volume highlighted uh, my Unreal layout might be slightly different to yours. Um, I organize all mine in one tab. So I just click on the blocking volume, look at the details, and you can see that the collision preset is set to invisible wall, which blocks pretty much everything apart from visibility. So what you want to do is you want to change that to custom. And in here, um, we want to get this actor to ignore everything except a pawn. So if we just ignore physics detail, uh, we only have pawn set to block. The camera, that can be our choice. So if you've got a third person camera, you might want to not block the camera, um, but you might want to depending on your style of play. So I'm just going to save that. And if I hit play and I jump, try to jump over the wall, you'll see my character still can't get over the wall. However, the balls that I'm firing can. Um, and that's all there is to it really, um, just using collision presets you can go about doing this. I hope this was a useful quick video and you got what you wanted out of it. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to just drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.